It is the nexus for all the other things that we've talked about, the deep state, the ET UFO situation, about mind control and black projects, specifically MK Ultra. It intersects now into our world in ways that I don't think I know the general public doesn't imagine. Our is all the altars that were formed through trauma-based mind control. Um, I was born in the 60s, so I was brought through the original trauma-based mind control, but then transitioned through um, other projects, mm -hmm. one of which is the cloning project in the 80s. And then I was taken into the remote technology, so the directed energy weapons have been a mm -hmm. part of it too. So I was kind of a crossover. So our is all the altars that they created and there's a few that I created along the way that they allowed to stay. I could feel on some level everybody in me, every, every part of me wanted it to end. And that was my job was to allow them to come forward as much as I could without endangering myself or anyone else. That was another another aspect to it of some mm -hmm. of the darker altars. Not just a and technical science, this is an esoteric science. Yes. And once the entities that run the altars, which is hard for people to grasp, but once the entities that run the altars were taken away, then I could have this collective that becomes an I and can live a life and move forward. 